What's up, friends? My name is Aaron Ciotti. Everybody calls me Ciotti. This is Studio 2, and I don't think this is going to be a watchable live stream because the delay. But uh, I'll try my best. Uh, I've been messing with settings all day to try to get this figured out, and uh, it's just not cooperating. This is cranked up as bright as it'll go, too. All of a sudden, the exposure is wrecked. Uh, yeah, this ain't gonna be great. But Imp FPV, Espander, Apache Smoke, uh, CMYK, RC Ritter, uh, James Flores, Ar Riot9, Dan Richmond, uh, Darkman, Private Island, Free Range Chicken. What's up, friends? Uh, I'm scrolling to the bottom of the chat. Wow. Even the chat can't run. So the, the so OBS takes up 180% of the CPU. And um, wow. Yeah, this isn't um, this isn't watchable. Um, I was hoping to be able to do editing on here, but if OBS can barely run on this laptop, OBS and Premiere is going to be completely impossible. Let me, uh, let me, I mean, I guess it's pointless for me to try to get the audio lag figured out because it's only one frame a second. Um, wow, 
it's real bad. Um, and it's really dark. I, I don't understand why it's so dark. Um, it really doesn't make any sense why it's so dark. Hold on. Oh, 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 it'll let me move on the fly. There we go. I might have just accidentally hit that. So that's good. Got that straightened out to some extent. Um, CMYK says the audio sounds great. That's nice. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can answer questions, but uh, I have a feeling you guys are going to get really annoyed with two frames a second. Let me, let me see if, uh, hold on, let me see if OBS will share desktop. Desktop zoom audio, let's see what happens. Oh wow, it's uh, absolutely gigantic. Uh, not to mention that that's not the monitor that I want it to be looking at, but let's just resize it first. <laughs> wow. Um, okay. Uh, let me do display capture monitor one. Display zero, I'm going to switch it over to display one. There we go. So that's a little bit better. Uh, that's at least looking at the right monitor. And let's pull this down here a little bit. Cool, so that's looking at the correct monitor. That's interesting. Uh, Edoc says, just put up a still image and we can tell the frame rate, make this a stream podcast. Yeah, right. I mean, I guess I could just display the, uh, the desktop here. Um, you know what I can do? I can put myself in the corner. Uh, what is it? Window? No, no, it's video capture device, right? Yeah, Canon T6. I can put myself real small in the corner. That'll be a little bit less. Than, oh boy, that's too big. Uh, why is it not cropping those bars out? Uh, man, this is this is rough. This is rough. What if I put it to hot? Oh, shitters. I did something wrong. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please come back. Hey, it came back. I can put myself like that. There's a thing. Hit me with questions, guys. I'll, I'll answer questions. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I gotta be honest. I don't really know why the laptop is having such a hard time. Uh, Premiere runs way better on this laptop than on the desktop, but uh, yeah, this does not. So uh, yeah, I just, I don't understand. Uh, but this is a Q&A stream, so drop uh, any questions you've got into the chat. We'll talk about them, and I don't know. We'll see how long we can make it. Uh, system tray. I'm just continuing to look through these. Uh, these uh, Remy Tim with a 1999 super chat for the M1 fund. Thank you, dude. Uh, I don't have access to that here but you know <laughs> oh the m1 is a uh is very high on the list of priorities so uh ricardo says instead of displaying yourself why don't you open web pages with preferred gear um yeah i mean that's kind of what we're doing here with the with the um show in the desktop uh, Metal Dixon says, what's your Cinesplore motor recommendation these days for 4S with a Hero 9? Uh, I still think that the 2004s are a nice little... You sacrifice a little bit of power with the 2004s, but you get a little bit less weight. 
Um, and with Cinewhoops, you really want to keep the weight down as low as you can. So I think that uh, 2004 minimum of 3,000 kV uh, is going to be your best bet. Um, I have not found a uh, 2004 that I really love quite yet, but I'll keep looking. Audio Track 1, I'm using the hardware. And, oh, you know, I can't change any of this stuff now that I've started streaming. So we're kind of uh, we're kind of stuck with the with the settings that are on right now. What's really weird is I was running I was running OBS last night, and it was not nearly this bad. I I but I mean that's that's sort of to be expected because every time you launch any live streaming anything. Uh, it just acts completely different than it did the day before for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So, you know, Quadrophenia says season greeting, seasons greetings. Have board says, what's this new studio? I've been absent lately. Did you get a new place? Uh, this is Maggie's spare bedroom. Uh, I thought that I could get away with building a little streaming setup here with the laptop. Uh, but I don't know. Apparently, the laptop does not like OBS because, yeah, I mean, this is just, this is just ridiculous. Uh, I, I, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take screenshots of everything, of all the settings that I have on the, uh, on the computer at home. And... Uh, and then I'll mirror all of those settings here on the laptop. Actually, I don't even have to do... I, you know what? I think I already did that, come to think of it. I think I opened up OBS on the laptop next to the computer, and just, uh, to the, the desktop, and just opened everything up. I, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't get it. I, I don't understand why the laptop would, would run Premiere so much better, but then just fall on its face with OBS. This is really strange, but... Um, I'll keep throwing time at it. Espander says, should I get 650mAh or 850mAh 4S LiPos for 3-inch Vista Apex? Um, totally up to you, Espander. The bigger battery is going to give you more runtime and a little bit more throw. Um, smaller battery is going to give you a little bit more accuracy, better cornering, that, that type of stuff. So, uh, yeah. There you go. That's how you should pick 650 or, or 850. To be honest, just get a couple of each, and then uh, you know you can make up your mind that way. Get like two of each, and then see what you like better. Uh, Metal Dritzkid says, is OBS super dependent on the graphics card? Maybe it doesn't have the GPU horsepower. Um, it's not. Uh, I've actually got it set up. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, I've got it doing... Oh, what the hell? Why did it... Pick the hardware encoder. I didn't want it to pick the hardware encoder. I don't. I don't know why it did that. I don't think this thing has a hardware encoder to be honest. Uh, let me try this. I will quit out of OBS. Are the keystrokes not working either? OBS really? I have the keystrokes set up. I just did it. Look how long it's taking for the preferences window to open. Is this real life? Jesus. There we go. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Switch to scene. Oh, oh, F9. 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 Okay. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's see. Hey. So, wow, the delay. Oh, my God, the delay is brutal. Ready? I'm going to snap. I'm going to clap. Uh, let me quit out of, uh, activity monitor is up on the other screen. It's, uh, the problem is OBS is taking 160% of the CPU. That's the problem. I, I've never seen that before. Um, I have, I have no idea why it's, uh, why it's doing that, but, um, hold on. Let me quit out of OBS. It shouldn't bomb the stream. And uh, I'm going to change that setting, and I'll be right back. So hold on. Be right back. It's going to pinwheel for a second. Be back. All right, so this is now on X264. 
which I don't think will be any better. But we'll see. No, it's not any better. Hopefully the uh, the the stream is back up though. That would be nice. Uh, let me get caught up on chat, uh, and I'm gonna turn this view off because it's it's just killing me. Uh, have board says could be the connection. Do speed tests of the network both at home and there. Uh, try to get hardwired if you're on Wi-Fi. Uh, the internet here is about a million times faster uh, than it is at uh, at my apartment. Uh, and this is not yeah this is not lag. So the the audio would be all lagged out as well as the video, uh, if it were a, a, a um, internet issue, I believe. Um, but we'll see in a second. We'll see what Speed Test has to say. Uh, I would probably not be able to get hardwired here. But yeah, I don't think internet speed is the issue. What else do we have? Uh, Spander says, so I'll get three of each, LOL. Yeah, that, that's what I would do, two or three of each. Uh, IDV says, what song is that in the intro? Uh, it's a guy, Quessy, from Instagram that likes watching my flying videos, uh, who sent me a bunch of his beats. So it's, it's not something that, that you're going to be able to get, unfortunately, IDV. Havboard says, check your activity monitor. Uh, Frank Nicholas says, on Unix, free BSD, 167% CPU is 1.67 cores. You have headroom. Laptop has an NVIDIA graphics card, but its age doesn't provide much hardware acceleration. Okay, so it sounds like the... Why is OBS now taking up 320%? Why is the activity monitor completely frozen? Oh my god. Ooh, the internet is slow. Look at that. Why the hell is the internet so slow? It's usually hysterically fast. Uh, but... I, I still don't think this is uh, internet related. I could totally be wrong, but I don't think this is internet related. Um, activity monitor is completely frozen at this point. It has not updated in a while. Uh, wow, I can't even close this tab. Good lord. Yeah, activity monitor has crashed, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Let me quit out of it. Restart it. Uh, Remy Tim says, yeah, you're live. Awesome. Interesting that the audio is working. Uh, got, got audio videos frozen. Great. Great. Oh my god, something is something is afoot. You guys still have all oh man, it's so upset. Uh activity monitor relaunched, but it, it's it's just broken. Oh there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Oh yeah, OBS has taken three hundred percent of the processor all of us. Oh, because I changed it to X uh, 260 whatever. So I need to get it off of uh, X two sixty four. So let me do this. Uh, I'm gonna move the. I'm gonna move it to software, Apple software encoding, and we'll see what happens to the activity monitor. Yeah, because this is sitting at 300% constant. So one more little pinwheel. All right. So that's now on the Apple software encoder. Let's see. Let's see how that is. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Uh, let me show you what I'm looking at. So, oh, now the keystrokes don't work. Great, keystrokes don't work when you're in the uh, preferences screen, I guess. There we go. All right, cool. So, uh, yeah, keep filling that uh, chat up with questions. Audio is working. It's a podcast today. All right, I'm back on the audio and uh, the I'm back on <laughs> to the hardware encoder. 
Uh, I did turn off rescale output. Uh, look, I turned this off here. Uh, this rescale output was uh, was turned on. Doesn't seem to have helped though. Um, oh my god, yeah. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Uh, I've got a ton of sync offset to try to help with the... Uh with the offset, I'll increase it even more. Uh, but it doesn't matter because it's like one frame per second. So it's, it's just a, it's just a mess. Let me, uh, let me go on my phone. Let me put more stress on the internet here. And I'll go on my phone. I want to see something here. With the offset, I'll increase it even more. Let's see. Okay. The delay is back down. All right, so that should be a little bit better, right? Let's see. Ooh, the delay is almost correct. Ooh, the delay is almost correct. <laughs> this is this is ridiculous. I'm gonna move this delay to 100, and I'm just gonna leave it alone. Not 10, 100. Uh, so. Why is that so much? Oh, you know what's happening? The, um, the video is lagging like more and less and more and less. This is brutal. Uh, CMYK says, had to refresh my page, but working now. Brandon's baked beans returned from a snack. Stream is a mess. Um, my laptop is not fast enough to, uh, to stream from, Brandon. Uh, Gary Higgins says this is digital breakup, lol. Uh, um, check if your internet there works with an AIO. I'm going to kill my, uh, my phone. So, yeah, I don't know. We've got a, uh, Echo now. Yeah, the Echo was, was my phone, uh, which was watching the stream I don't uh, I don't yeah I don't know what to do at this point this is um, for me Tim says stream from your phone and I could uh, I could do that I, I mean I, I if I stream from my phone it's it's like old days of streaming where it's, uh, I can't share monitors, I can't uh, work on the bench or anything. Um, yeah. The, the, my main concern is that there's so much delay in OBS. I mean like, one, one thousand, two, like, there's a full second of delay uh, on OBS. The other problem from streaming with streaming from your phone is, phone is you can't schedule the streams. You can only just like hit the button to start streaming. Um, you also can't put a thumbnail. You, you don't get your description. It's like incredibly uh, handcuffed. Um. Man, OBS, what is the deal? Why are you so uh, awful? <laughs> it's not awful. OBS is is an amazing piece of software, but man, it it just pounds on your computer. I have it. the The only other thing I'm thinking, right, is that uh, the so I've got it set to run at twelve eighty by seven twenty as normal, but. This camera, 
this is a uh, Canon EOS Rebel T6. Unlike my other camera, this camera, um, it forces you to either be in 1080-30 or 720-60, uh, which sucks. I mean, so I have a funny feeling that... So I tried to run it on 720p60 and it was worse than 1080 30. So I have a funny feeling that the 1080 30 is coming in and then OBS is having to crunch that down to 1280 by 720. Um, so I tried changing the, the base and the output resolution, which you can see up here. Um, I, what? There's no steps, it's just one huge zoo. Oh my god, why? Uh, up here. Um, I tried streaming in 1080, but that was even worse. So, yeah, that's not gone well. OBS has only taken up 111. Per, uh, now it's up to 160%. Uh, man, brutal. Metal Dirksen says, if you're down in the corner and sharing something else, the delays a lot less distracting, at least to me. Yeah, I, 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 that makes sense. Remy Tim says, uh, I just mean for today until you figure out some other settings to help. I know it's not ideal, but it might be a temporary solution. To be honest, I, I've done um, a good amount of screwing around with these settings. I, I, I don't think that there's, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, I really wonder if it's this, uh, I really wonder if it's this camera sending 1080 in. Uh, and it just not being able to handle it. Maybe if... Let's see something here. As a webcam. Uh, the other problem is that when, when OBS is running, the computer really struggles. Like, even just like the mouse tracking is is bad. Uh, let's see if Clement <laughs> didn't teach me anything. Uh, is there Mac support? Is there Mac support? USB-C, your computer, mounting options, setting up point of view, yeah, great. Uh, webcam uh, desktop utility. I bet you I already have that installed, though. Let's see. Uh, let me go over here, do a little search for GoPro. Maybe not, or maybe the search isn't working. I don't know. I've never seen the search come up in that location before. That's weird. Uh, I have a funny feeling that this is PC only. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Come on. Please. Please. Hey, Mac! Look at that. Mac utility download. Great! Let's put more stress on the internet. Awesome. Uh, weird. I, I don't know why the internet is running quite this slow. Uh, stream still looks better than Connex per se. Um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's this room that I'm in? Possibly? I doubt it. But yeah, usually the internet absolutely rips here. But I, I love that the audio is still working. That's great. Oh my god, something just used 1700% of the CPU. I don't think that that's going to work. Uh, wow. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. Let's uh, let's let's keep let's keep charging through. 
any of those questions, leave them in the chat. This is basically a uh, this is basically a uh, podcast here today. Um, preview webcam camera orientation. Um, I mean, I could, uh, I could. It, it's it should be the same, right, guys? It shouldn't be any better. Uh, I installed the uh, the GoPro webcam software. And for some reason it bombed OBS. Uh, I assume it's no better. But, and, and the, the GoPro software needs me to restart. Tactically speaking, I could restart. See, look how slow this is. Oh my God. Come on, yo. I just want to close this goddamn tab. Look at it. I, I Close tab. Jesus. There it is. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. <laughs> See, my case says, uh, the stream froze for him, had to refresh, prepared to go after refresh. Dead636 says, keep going, this is still better than TV, we will be here. Ask me questions. I, I don't, um, I don't really know what to talk about because all I've done is, um, uh, for the past couple days is try to get this, this, working <laughs> uh so yeah i i i don't really have we talk i i, I kind of burned out on everything that i wanted to talk about the other day um i wonder if i wonder if hold on what if uh all right, I quit. Uh, I quit OBS and restarted it. Maybe it'll be a little bit better. Maybe it'll come back. I think the stream fully died a minute ago. I think I might be back now, though. It is back. Okay. All right. I didn't realize that the stream had shit the bed. I I don't know why it died like that. Uh, it it just did. Uh, but I put in the chat the uh, the link, the Thingiverse link here. I'm going to put it in there again. Uh, there's the Thingiverse link to the uh, the TPU antenna mount that I really like. It's specifically meant to just cradle a, a, U a direct UFL antenna. Uh, and then if that's a Rush VTX, it's probably MMCX. So you're just going to do a straight MMCX antenna and run it out there. Uh that I believe that that's what I prefer. Is it still really delayed? Yeah, it's still incredibly delayed. Yeah, it's like a second and a half of delay. It is using, um, it is you at home. I use a little piece of software to get the camera to work. Maybe I'll, uh, maybe I'll try that here. I don't have that software installed, I don't think. Um, when I go home, I'm gonna really troubleshoot this as much as I can. Um, yeah, I thought I could use the, the Canon webcam utility, but it's kind of starting to look like maybe I can't. I don't know. Wow, the whole computer is just I can't, like I do one thing on the computer and then it just lags for like five or ten seconds. Jesus. Uh, Ruby Tibbs says, do you think that seven inch and up has any place in FPV for racing or cinema or long range or beast class or cinema left or curious in your thoughts? Um, yeah, I mean... I think the problem is that uh, there's such a big jump in, you know, it, it's all about payload, right? So we've got GoPros that are 150 to 120 GoPro Heroes, which are 120 to 150 grams. Um, and then we jump all the way up to... Uh, you know, Z cams and Aries and, and all these ridiculously heavy medium format cameras. And so it's like, 
if we get, I feel like if we get a camera that's 300 grams, 400 grams, then, you know, 700, uh, seven inch might make a lot of sense. At the moment, um, the only thing that, uh, that I really see, so we long range, long range, of course, right? Because it's a bigger propeller. So, I mean, long range, I, I think it's obvious that seven inch has its place uh, for carrying a GoPro Hero around. Uh, cinematic and freestyle stuff, I, I don't necessarily think it makes much sense without a heavier camera, but uh, if you need more efficiency in... So, uh, there's a bunch of guys chasing uh, 100 plus mile an hour uh, cars, bikes, whatever, and... For that, if you need more runtime, I think 7-inch makes a lot of sense. And people have been using it for that, to, to carry a GoPro around. So, yeah, I think there's some, there's some uses, for sure. Uh, it's just pretty specific, and, and it's harder to tune and whatnot. I'm really curious about the AOS 7 frame. I really, really, really am. But... Uh, I'm not in that situation where I need more, more runtime, better efficiency. So kind of is what it is. Uh, those are my thoughts. Smoother Groovin says, what adjustments would you make for mountain surfing at higher alt altitude elevation? The biggest thing uh, is going to be, the, the two biggest things to think about are going to be prop selection and uh, camera up tilt. What I realized uh, coming down the mountain is that uh, lower GoPro up tilt was really nice. Because when you're coming down the mountain, you know, you don't want to like really nose it down because then you're going to be going a million miles an hour, unless that's what you want. Uh, so yeah, I think like a, like a 20 degree up tilt Makes an awful lot of sense if the if the the footage that you're getting, um, you know, is is coming down the mountain, uh, which it typically is. Typically, you ride the stair lift up and you just get to the top in a boring manner, um, and then on the way down you surf around. Um, having that lower up tilt is also going to help the GoPro. If you leave the GoPro on auto exposure, it's going to help it expose for your subject, right? The ground is your subject, not the sky. Um, so that's going to help out there. And then, yeah, I mean, just propellers with more pitch, right? If you normally fly a 5143.3, uh, I would move up to a 5146.3. Oh, uh, and uh, yeah, do some long distance stuff in a recoverable spot to make sure that your your link is good and just go for it. It starts says if a five inch flies well without a GoPro with 2207s, shouldn't we bump up motors to carry 150 extra grams uh, like a 2506? Um, I mean, I think five inch flies great with a GoPro with 2306s. I find 2207s to be too much, uh, too much stator volume. Um, I don't know what you'd be doing that you would need. I mean, a, a 2506 is interesting. Like, don't get me wrong. Kebabs motors are, are very interesting, but man, it's a lot of motor. They're, it's, it, they're very heavy. Um, and I don't like that. I, I really like a 30 gram motor, uh, so yeah, the the twenty five oh six thing is not is not really my jam. Uh, twenty five oh six. I meant to say just now. I think I just said twenty three oh six. Um, yeah, even twenty two oh sevens. I think that's too much motor. Um, unless you're looking to cruise at 80, 90 miles an hour, then you need a bigger motor. Um, but uh, yeah, lightweight twenty three oh sixes are the answer for me. AthexFPD says, so in the past hour, I have long range, I've long range the 250 
Uh, and chased a car with the glide wall riding in it. Good times coming from the whoop race. Nice. I really wish I could have made it to the uh, to the whoop race yesterday, but I didn't have any whoops. And uh, the Mazda is really extremely uncomfortable. Um, so, yeah, driving four hours there and four hours home. Actually, I think it's closer to five hours. Um, was just not happening. So... Kind of is what it is. Next year for sure. Next year. I'll be there. Um, Athix says, Sky helped out a lot. Um, Sky FPV? I'm assuming. Uh, huh. I'm super bummed that, that this is not running right. Uh, OBS was totally fine last night. I have absolutely no idea what happened between last night and today that, that made OBS just completely shit the bed. Wow, the delay is just absurd. Uh, and the internet is actually running fine now too. I have no dropped frames and I'm green on that. Let's see what speed test has to say. CMYK says, did you share your Thingiverse bookmarks on Discord or Patreon? I don't know if I did, but I'm certainly going to now. That's a really good idea. I think you guys will be able to, uh, well, let's see. I'm going to drop this into the chat. See if you guys can, uh, see if you guys can navigate to that page. Let's see what speed test has to say. Oh, it's struggling. Oh, hold on, it didn't get into the chat. There it is. Somebody hit that link in the chat. Tell me if it's uh, good to go. So this is about the same speed that I get at home. So this is now, yeah. I get between 10 and 15 at home. Uh, so yeah, the internet, the internet should not have anything to do with... I really have a funny feeling that it's because the camera is sending the computer 1080. And then uh, Link works fine. Awesome. Uh, I am going to throw up a Patreon post. Uh, even though the quality of the stream does not suggest it right now, uh, but this is my full-time job. <laughs> Uh, if you want to see more potato streams, um, don't support me. If you want to see less potato streams, do support me over at ciadifpv.com. Uh, the one thing that you can do to help me out the most and get the most bang for your buck is to join the Patreon page. Uh, it's linked over at the uh, Linktree link that CMYKFPV just put up here. Thank you, brother. Uh, speaking of Patreon, right now... <laughs> I am making a post with uh, that link that I just shared in the chat to my favorite Thingiverse stuff, which uh, some of you guys might enjoy. So, yeah. Brains Baked Bean says, oh no, uh, I have you in the background so I won't notice the frame issues. Athic says, uh, Patreon provides the ketchup to the potato stream. <laughs> uh, uh. All right, link is going up over on Patreon. Wow, I can't even paste. The computer is so slow that it won't even paste. Uh, what can I put this under? What tag can I put this under? Uh, Tech Talk? I'm going to put it under Tech Talk because that's one of the tags that kind of lives up on top. Uh, so there we go. And, oh, you son of a bitch, come on. The delay is so bad that if I try to do anything, I, I click too late and it, it's, it's just ridiculous. Ciati uh, FPV's favorite... 
Thingiverse files. Cool. Are they files? Whatever. Publish now. Who can see this post? Patreons only. It's going to cost you three whole dollars a month to join. You can do it. And uh, there's lots and lots and lots of benefits. Uh, all right. Athix says, yes, Sky FPV, very cool. Mudda Dirksen says, link works fine, awesome. CMYK says, thank you. Darkman says, uh, crap, internet buddies. Um, Craig Mitchell says, my two favorite motors right now are the 25 or 6 you were just talking about, but I'm really loving the Let's Fly RC hype trains right now. Um, 2306, one piece. Let's fly RC. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, 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 those hype trains. Yeah. Um, the hype train 2306s are good. I flew those for a while, but the T-Motor uh, F40s are always lighter. Um, and I always try to have uh, the lightest weight motor possible. Brandon's Big Bean says, oh, no. Uh, oh, wait, no, we got that. Uh, Kevin says, what ND filters for Hero 8 slash 10 should we keep in our flight bags? And when should we use them um the so i would skip the nd4 it doesn't make enough of a difference uh start at the nd8 get two of each because they break two nd8s uh two nd16s and one nd32 you're not going to use the nd32 very often the the nd8 and the 16 are going to be your bread and butter um the one of the easy ways to think about ND filters, um, this will prevent me from going on a 20-minute a photography tirade. Uh, one of the best ways to think about ND filters is that they're sunglasses for your GoPro. And so if you go outside and you want to wear sunglasses, so does your GoPro. Uh, which one you use, you can kind of judge by where the sun is. If the sun is pretty much like directly overhead or like anywhere in this in this range, um, ND16. As the sun starts to get a little bit lower in the sky, if you still feel like you'd rather have sunglasses on, that's going to be the ND8. And then as soon as you feel like you don't need sunglasses outside anymore, take the ND filter off. Take the sunglasses off the GoPro. Um, if, uh, and that's all assuming it's completely clear sky. If there's clouds in the sky, ND8, if you feel like you want sunglasses, um, or if it's cloudy enough that you feel comfortable without sunglasses on outside, no ND filter. Uh, that's the easiest way to do it, but uh, all of that is predicated upon you having locked or limited the ISO. Um, if you have your ISO in the GoPro set to auto and you put an ND filter on, it's just gonna crank the ISO all the way up and you're not gonna get any benefit to the ND filter. Um, and in fact, when the ISO gets cranked all the way up, uh, you're gonna get a ton of sensor noise. So it's actually gonna hurt you. So if you're gonna use an ND filter, make sure that you lock your ISO to a minimum of 100 and a maximum of 400. Uh, some people say a maximum of 800, but I would rather it be a little bit too dark. So for me, in my opinion, uh, 400 is the maximum ISO. Um, and that way, when you put the ND filter on there, it's gonna run the, it's gonna run it, uh, the ISO up to 400 and stop uh, and then that's gonna, um, the next thing it's gonna do to try to let in more light is gonna be to open the shutter up. And if you're in 30 frames a second, it'll open the shutter up to 1 30th of a second and that'll get you a, a ton of motion blur. Uh, so yeah, that's, the, that's sort of the easy way to, to do that. Um, Kevin Sumner says, is the 32 for things like where you're getting bad sun bounce back then, like over water, snow, or shiny buildings? 
Uh, ND32 is very specific to flying over snow. You're, you're never going to use the ND32 on anything other than snow flying. Um, so yeah. Even like a shiny building, it's only going to be shiny for a second. You know, the, the, the reason why you use the ND32 in the snow is because the snow is everywhere. So it's constant bright white with sunlight hammering into it. Um, in pretty much every other bright lighting situation, you're going to get bright light, but then you're going to get normal light. Um, whereas in the snow, you're always going to be blown out. Uh, because, yeah, the white of the snow is just so bright. I guess if you were flying a bright white building uh, and you were only looking at the building for the entire battery. Lily George says Vark Tech. I wonder what that means. Um, keep those questions coming because there's nothing else that I can really do. <laughs> That's about all I got here today. It is after 4 o'clock, though. We have been somehow going for over an hour. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to... So what I'll do is a, uh, I'll do a Patreon-only stream uh, at some point here, maybe, maybe right after this one, uh, and we'll do some troubleshooting. Uh, but, yeah, i got to do some serious figuring out with this. This is uh, this is a bit of a mess. Espander says, are GemFan 3016s going to be good for my micro Apex? They are not, Espander. Uh, they are a toothpick slash lightweight uh, propeller. If, you're, if your all-up weight is anywhere north of, let's say, 160, maybe 170, maybe 180 grams, um, that propeller is just not going to have enough pitch for you. It's a great, which is a shame because it's a great propeller. Uh, I have been bugging GemFan for a while to make like a 3030 version of that prop. Uh, that would be incredible. But yeah, the 3016, unless you can really turn it, un unless you can get like a like a 5,000 enough stator volume. Uh, and then like 5,000 kV on 4S or 4,000 kV on 5S, um, you might be able to spin that 3016 enough. But you're going to be real. I mean, that's going to be really, really rough. Like you're, that's probably going to start to um, flatten out that propeller. I, I don't recommend doing that. Paulie Lee says, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing good. The stream is uh, the stream is struggling, but I'm doing good, man. Um, not dropping frames anymore, so that's good. Get this out of here. Yeah, OBS is just kind of sitting at 150% CPU, 160, 170. Weird. Uh, Spander says 1606 4300 KV on 4S. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's not enough, that, that's not enough KV, uh, for that propeller. Unless you want something underpowered. Uh, the other problem is going to be, that's a very thin propeller, so that rig, when you crash it, um, it's just going to obliterate those props. That, that, that's a toothpick prop, like, like, straight up. That's a propeller for like a 1404 or 1403 or something like that. Uh, Northern Tier FPV with a $10 super chat. Thank you, brother. Awesome stream. <laughs> Left my ass off. Have one on me. I will. I'm going to be uh, drinking heavily after this stream to try to forget <laughs> how OBS just completely betrayed me for no reason. <laughs> I'm a, I, I just, you know, it's funny. I, I very specifically said to Maggie, um, you know, see how it's working now? It's not going to work tomorrow. Guaranteed. Guaranteed tomorrow it ain't going to work. <laughs> and here we are. Um, thank you very much, Northern Tier. Very generous. Uh, Pauly Lee says, did you use the new 4.3 beta flight on your quad? Um, I've had 4.3 on a quad for about six months. Um, and it's been great. 
more recently, uh, I've put four. I've been putting four point three on everything that I've been plugging in. So it's at this point, it's on about half of my rigs. It's fantastic having P gain incorporated into anti gravity is beautiful. Uh, the new sliders are actually really nice. I really dig four point three. I can't wait for the stable release. Kevin Sumner says, "Do you have a Tech Talk article?" about your photography settings for flying. I don't see one after some searching. You know, I don't, Kevin. Um, I, I, it's hard to, you know, I, I basically limiting your ISO to a maximum of 400 is basically the thing to do. Um, Beyond that, it, it gets really confusing really quickly. Um, and it gets into this realm where it's not going to help. It's, it's going to hurt more people than it's going to help kind of thing. Um, so I, I typically stay away from it other than here in the live streams. Like if you got like... Like, you know, we had some specific questions here that, that I could specifically answer. I, I just, I try to be very careful about putting blanket info out there um, because, yeah, a lot of times blanket info can cause more confusion than clarity. Uh, so, yeah, I have not done that, and, and I don't know if I will. I, I've always stayed away from it. For this reason, um, because, yeah, it, there's just not a lot of blanket. I mean, I, uh, pretty recently, I kind of came up with the whole sunglasses. Think of ND filters like sunglasses. So I could probably, like, that's probably basic enough to put in there. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll put a quick... Quick and dirty um, GoPro settings, um, GoPro settings and ND filters, 101 maybe. I'm actually going to open up a new tab. Uh, pay... No, 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 not Pirate. Oh my god, it's so slow. Every Oh my god, this computer. What is happening? <laughs> Uh, Espander says, so what props should I get? Uh, DAL 3028s. Uh, DAL T3028, Espander. Those are the best T-mount propellers that we have at the moment. Um, like I said, I'm really hoping Gemfan will put out a 3030. Uh, Flyzone Drones is in the house. Athic says, in 15 minutes, I'll have raw video of that long-range trip. Very cool. Uh, Kevin Sumner says, if you consider closing a bunch of your Chrome tabs, I completely quit out of Chrome, uh, and it, it didn't help anything. So I don't think that uh, th that will help. I don't know how, oh, I know how so many tabs got opened because it's Christmas time. Uh, but, you know, let's actually do that. I'm, I'm sure there's a bunch of tabs that I can close. Uh, I'm just, on the on the laptop monitor, I'm getting a, a new Patreon post opened. And I just want to put a post title in there to remind myself. Um, wow. That's taken a long time. There it goes. Uh, so that's just going to be a text-based post. And here we go. Come on. Joseph Dahari built a 4-inch Apex using FPV cycle 21mm, 2300 kV on 4S. Uh, seems a little underpowered. Yep, that's because 2300 kV is not enough. Uh, you need bare minimum 3000 kV. Realistically, you want 3500 or even 4000. Oh, uh, no, you're on 4-inch props. Um... Yeah, I still think you need more KV, even on the 4-inch props. Uh, post title, uh, GoPro Settings and Andy Filters 101. 
All right, cool. So there's going to be a text post coming to Patreon at some point here. Um, uh, are like sunglasses and D8 and D16 and D32 for snow. Just leaving like a quick reminder here. Uh, okay. Uh, limit ISO to 400 max. Cool, so those are the biggest things. Uh, right, so yeah, let me close some, uh, oh God, what happened to OBS? Why did that happen? What is this? Uh, what is the Amazon? What? No, hold on. I'm gonna delete this scene completely. Yes, delete that scene. Things are going wrong. There we go. There we go. Okay. Oh, Duke just yelped. I heard Duke yelp outside. Hope he's okay. Uh, let me close a bunch of uh, Chrome tabs. We'll see what happens. What's this? Uh, oh, that's eDrone uh, from when I was on his live stream. Uh, this can close. See, none of these, none of these tabs have loaded. Uh, because I, I restarted the computer right before the stream in hopes that that might help, uh, which it did not. Oh, God, Healthy Gamers thing is, is loading. Oh, farts. Let me keep closing tabs, and then I'm actually going to quit out of Chrome and relaunch Chrome. Uh... uh Here's an amazing one take Cinewoop video for you guys. I'm closing this tab right now. But uh, if you haven't checked that out already, that's a really, really cool Cinewoop uh, edit. Uh, this is fine. This is just a text tab. This is. Oh, yeah, this is BB Barnes. I am subscribed to them, so that's fine. I can close that one. Uh, this is that K-Sport tab. It's not really doing much, but I'll close it anyway. Nah, no, I won't. I need that open for when I sell them. And I kind of need these open. All right, so let me, uh, let me quit. Oh, I can't quit. It'll, um, it'll kill this Patreon post. Oh my god, why is this happening? Um, okay. Well, I'm just going to leave it. I did close a bunch of tabs, though. Let's see if it's any better. A little bit. Nope, no better. We tried. That's all we can do. All we can do is try. Uh, Dan636 has the right idea. He's, he's running his 4-inch Apex on 1804 3500s. Um, if I had a 4-inch Apex, I would do 1804 3500s and run a 3.5-inch prop. Uh, those 1804s are beautiful on a 3.5-inch prop. They're not quite enough for a 4-inch prop. Um... How's the delay? Is the delay uh, a nightmare? It's actually not looking that bad right now. The, there is frame rate. There's just a humongous delay. There's a huge video delay for me. Full second. Jesus. Um, delay isn't bad. What, what kind of frame rate are you guys getting? This claims to be going at 30 frames a second. I don't understand why there's so much of a delay in OBS. Is it a lot better since I closed the um, since I closed those tabs? I did have like four YouTube, not not bad, better than it was, but it's still not like when I'm home, right? Like it's still borderline unwatchable. Oh, I stole Maggie's chair. I meant to give her this chair back. Oops. 
I'm gonna be making some enemies already. Uh, am I getting any actual significant bounce from this? I'm not. I'm not getting any bounce from this. Hold on. Let me kick one of the. Uh, let me kick another light on. Uh, where is that other video light? It's over here. Will I be able to get it up high enough? That's what she said. Uh, how can I? How can I? Oh, I see a spot. I see a little spot. I'm just going to add a little bit of fill with this. Oh boy, that's a lot. That's nice. That works. JT Custom Knives says, uh, well, we will watch you if you're streaming from the moon. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Darkman says, I'm not able to change power levels via the OSD menu, yet changing channel and band works. Using a Foxy or Reaper Nano, which uses Tramp. Any ideas? Uh, you said you run Tramp a lot. Darkman, you're probably having the same issue that I was the other day, and somebody in the chat um, reminded me of it. Uh, low power until first arm. If, you, if in your VTX table you have low power until first arm turned on, when you plug the quad in, it's always going to bump you down to 25 milliwatts. Um, so what you need to do is arm it, and then you've armed once, and then disarm it, and hopefully that'll fix it. Uh, but yeah, it just happened to me. Don't feel bad. Dan636 says, it's the Exnova 1804. Five minutes of easy flight, four minutes of aggressive flight. Seems just fine. Gem fan wind dancer props. Yeah, the, the 1804s are pretty rad. Darkman says, nope. Uh, just tried post-arm cycle and it still wouldn't change. That's weird. Um... Um, I don't know why the, oh, 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 the, uh, the VTX table is wrong. You've got the wrong VTX table. You need a VTX table specific to the Foxier Reaper Nano. So if you go to Google and you search for that. Uh, Foxier Reaper Nano. Oh, well, that's a, that's an ESC. What VT, oh, it is a VTX. Uh, Foxier Reaper Nano VTX, um, uh, table. Uh, you're probably going to have to copy and paste a VTX table into the, um, into the CLI. Let's see here. Unless they have a, uh, let's see what happens. So yeah, that, that's what you need to get. The, what I just got is what you need to get. And looks like Brandon, Brandon's big beans got you covered. So yeah, that's a, uh, that is almost definitely a VTX table issue. Yeah, so there it is. There's the JSON. Uh, so yeah, you can just download it directly from uh, from them. I think you can just hit the um, the link that Brandon copied. But here's the link from Foxier's website. There you go. Uh, Okay, good question. Good question. What's this delay about? Maybe it's just, I mean, I guess it would make sense, right? The camera is spitting out 1080 and then before OBS can even display it here. Um, it's got to 
crunch it down into uh, into 720, right? So we, I guess it makes sense. I don't like it, but uh, I guess it does maybe make sense. So what I'll do is swap uh, swap cameras. And, you know, this might not be into the world. If, if I can get into that M1 Mac Mini, uh, that thing will handle 1080. And then I can use this camera and get OBS up to 1080 at home, at, at the apartment. And then here, I can take the, the camera that's at the apartment, which spits out 720, run that 720 into the laptop. It won't have to... Um, you know, it won't have to crunch it down and we'll see. So yeah, I'll play around with that. I guess, oh yeah, I can do that test right away. Yeah, I can do that test right away. So I'm, I'm going home tonight. Um, I actually got a gig tomorrow, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, I'm going home tonight and I will have everything that I need, right? Because I can just run USB, USB. So when I get home tonight, I'll do a Patreon-only testing stream, and uh, we'll see how the 720p camera does connected to this laptop. There'll be sil similar internet speeds, uh, so that'll be cool. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. But the biggest thing that I know that I need to get figured out is this gigantic delay in in OBS Th this can't be um, yeah there being this much of a of a lag time between the camera and what shows up on the OBS uh, viewfinder that that can't be a good thing that 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 can't not be a problem Espander says can't find Dow 3028 but found Gemfan 3028 are they any good not really um, the Gemfan 28, 3028s fly good, but they're very, very fragile. Um, uh, the Dow T3028s uh, are not very fragile. Um, so yeah, if you just search for Dow T3028, you'll find them. Uh, the word red got snuck in there on the search. They don't make the 3028 in red. They only make it in this stupid yellow and this stupid blue. Uh, but yeah, everybody sells them. Race Day Quads, Pyro Drone, Get FPV, Banggood, Hobby RC. Looks like maybe even Amazon. Uh, so yeah, you can get them. And they're they're like I said, they're the best. Um, they're the best three inch T mount props that uh, that we've got at the moment. Get you some. Espander says, do you know anything about uh, Avan 3x2.4x3? I do. Uh, they're a great propeller. They're also very, very fragile. Uh, and there's only a couple motors that they work on. Um, uh, your motors, for example, they will not work on. Uh, some of the only motors that those Avan 3x2.4s will work on are uh, 1306s, either the RCX 1306s or the Emax 1306s. Um, any motors that are have a wider can than 1306, um, those propellers will hit. The, the, the mounting pad, if this is the, the hub with the mounting pad, the propeller blade goes down below that. And on most motors, the, the mounting pad on the top of the bell of the motor is flat to the rest of the bell. So when you go to put that Emax prop down, um, the, the propeller blades hit the top of the bell and you can't crank it down. Um, Dave says, what about the HQ prop three by three by three? Uh, those are also very fragile and they're not very well balanced. Um, and they're not very efficient. They're, they're some of the worst performing three inch team out props, at, uh, to be really honest. Dark man says, uh, that got it. Thanks. Only difference was the power value is supposed to be 400 instead of 350. Um, that so that's just the 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 that's just the number that it just displays um the fact that you copied and pasted or or loaded that specific vtx table that's what fixed it um you can go in and change those numbers to whatever the hell you want um 
and they, they don't really affect anything. They're, they're just changing the what displays in the menu. JT Custom Knives with a $5 super chat. Thank you, brother. On my big build, I'm wondering if I should run my rotor, motor wires through my arm tubes or on the outside of the tubes. Any advice? Running them through the tubes um, is, is very tempting. Uh, the problem being uh, it makes... Uh, it makes working on the rig more of a pain in the ass, typically. Um, so yeah, from a serviceability standpoint, running them on the outside of the arms is probably better, but a big build like that, you're probably not going to be crashing. So if you're not going to be crashing it a lot, um, through the tubes might work. Uh, and man, is that going to be nice having them not flopping around out in the in the universe. Spanner says, oh yeah, I remember you showing that. Yeah, I try to show it as often as I can. I don't have any of those props here to be able to show you guys. But uh, yeah. Cool Coyote says, any updates on your three inch frame? Uh, I've just given up. Um, I've, I've gone down the frame route over and over and over again over the last four years and it's, it's, just, it's just not gonna happen. Um, and that's fine. I just, I don't, I don't have it in me. I don't have the time, I don't have the expertise. Uh, it's fine. There, there are other frames out that are great, and that's totally fine. Totally, totally, totally fine. I'm not mad. Um, and if you guys remember, I very specifically mentioned that. Like, I very specifically mentioned with this, you know, most recent iteration of, hey, Ciotti, make a frame. Um, I said at the beginning, you know, this ain't going to happen. I'm gonna to put tons of time in, and it's and it's and nothing's gonna come of it. Um, so you know, I knew going in, and uh, you know, you guys got to see that process. So that's fine. Uh, JT Custom Dive says, would them going through the tubes cause vibration with them just flopping around? Technically, maybe, but I really doubt that that you'll have that problem. To be honest with you, um, I I can't. I can't imagine that becoming a big issue or an issue at all. Brandon's Big Bean says ELRS is taking over, feeling left out yet. Uh, I'm not. I actually just recently ordered Ghost. Uh, so ELRS is in my future on good quality hardware. Uh, what I'm now waiting for is a uh, Tiny Whoop AIO with ELRS built in and a VTX built in that goes up to 200 milliwatts and um, that's not made by Happy Model or Beta FPV. Um, that is why I got Ghost. Uh, I now have two QX7s. One of those QX7s is gonna be, uh, is gonna have the Ghost module in it and it's gonna be my tiny whoop transmitter basically and or it's gonna be my backup transmitter I'm gonna actually do it with my old uh, my existing my current white QX7 that's gonna become the backup transmitter because it's old and I beat the hell out of it and the switches are all mushy uh, the new QX7 that I got is actually a QX7 S which I really like uh, because it cants the switches away a little bit which is a problem for me I got big long fingers and my knuckles hit the switches so I, I, I've had to remove the switches on the white QX7 um, so yeah, I love that it's an S. Um, it's also brand new. Uh, the switches are all like fresh, fresh, fresh. So that'll be cool. Uh, Brandon says the two G four is amazing. Yeah, I'm I'm interested to um, to to learn more about it and to check it out. Dave says I threw twenty oh four four thousand kV motors on a Rip Squeak V two. Uh, threw a picture in Discord at Rips. What? 2004s have you found that are 4,000 kV? 4,000 kV 2004s. Who the hell makes those? Uh, Metal Derson says, at least someday you can flash the ghost hard hardware to ELRS. Yeah, that's the plan. Although, I'll, maybe I'll fly ghost. Uh, maybe I'll test ghost. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, Dave Pencilwin says, flash hobby. Ah, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Very cool. 
Brandon says, I wish Happy Model made a deplugged 2G4 with slightly larger pads. I use plugs on it, but it's long range for sure. VTX and the 2G4 works really well. Very cool. Uh, Dan says, love the streams, but I got to run. See you tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will be a, a normal stream from the apartment. I will see you then, Dan. Um, it's 4.30. And I want to start troubleshooting this. So I'm gonna kill this stream and then I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. And then at some point here, I'm going to, um, Oh, that's interesting, Expander. Uh, yeah, at some point here, I'm going to do a Patreon-only stream. So you patrons are going to get an email at some point. If you want to do a little troubleshooting stream with me, uh, we can do that for a little bit. I'm not going to take a ton of time because I do have to get out of here uh, and get home and get all my gear ready uh, for the gig tomorrow. But I am going to do a little bit of troubleshooting here. So a little bit of a shorter stream here today. Um, ready for the delay? Thanks for hanging out, friends. I love you guys. Um, yeah, anybody that's still here, uh, it's super cool of you. I appreciate it. Hopefully, I can get this figured out sooner than later uh, because it would be really, really, really nice to, uh, to be able to do a live stream or two a week uh, from here rather than having to constantly go back and forth uh, because it's like a it's like a 45 minute ride back to back to the apartment and quite honestly there's just kind of no reason for me to go back there more than a couple times a week um, so yeah I would really rather basically live here <laughs> um, uh, with the people that uh, that I love so yeah uh, click some buttons if you don't mind this is my full-time job CIDFPV.com has a million ways that you can support me I would greatly appreciate it I literally rely on the support from you beautiful people to, to be able to keep doing these live streams 10 hours a week. Um, so yeah, this will be a fun week. What's uh, today's Sunday? Is tomorrow a giveaway stream? I think tomorrow, no, we did giveaways last Monday, I think. Whatever, we'll figure it out. Uh, see you tomorrow night, 10 o'clock. See you patrons in a little bit here with some more troubleshooting and Thanks for bearing with me. Love you guys. Uh, no outro. Well, yeah, I can just put the logo up for an outro. Give you guys some, some music for the outro. Come on, Epidemic Sound. You can do it. Go, go, go. Oh, I'm not logged in. To hell with it. Here's uh, nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Here's some, uh, here's some copyright free stuff. Here, guys, go. Love you. Thanks for bearing with me. Oh, I don't have any monitoring set up. I can't figure out how to get the monitoring working on this either. <sighs> Love you guys.